Welcome back to my channel Just Australia. If you possess valuable skills in high demand, Australia's immigration system might be your gateway. The short-term skilled occupation list, STSOL, plays a crucial role in this process. This video delves into a powerful tool for PR aspirants, the short-term skilled occupation list, STSOL. We'll explore how the STSOL can be strategically leveraged in your 2024 PR journey. Unraveling its significance, associated visa pathways, and recent changes that make the path to permanent residency even more promising. The Australian government maintains a skilled occupation list, SOL, that identifies occupations deemed critical to the nation's economic growth. The SOL is further categorized into the medium and long-term strategic skills list, MLTSSL, the STSOL, and the regional occupation list, ROL. The STSOL focuses on occupations experiencing a temporary skills shortage. Inclusion on the STSOL doesn't directly guarantee a PR visa, but it opens doors to certain visa pathways that can eventually lead to PR. While the STSOL itself doesn't guarantee PR, occupations on this list are often eligible for the Temporary Skill Shortage Visa, subclass 482. This visa allows you to work and live in Australia for up to four years under sponsorship from an accredited employer. The key here is the Temporary Residence Transition, TRT, Stream of the Employer Nomination Scheme, subclass 186 visa. This stream allows eligible TSS 482 visa holders to transition to permanent residency after meeting specific work experience requirements with the sponsoring employer. Positive news for PR hopefuls. In 2023, significant changes were introduced to the TRT stream. Previously, TSS 482 visa holders needed to work in the nominated occupation for three years with the same sponsor to be eligible for PR. This requirement has been reduced to two years. Additionally, the occupation no longer needs to be on a designated skilled occupation list, opening up more possibilities for PR through the STSOL. While the relaxed requirements are encouraging, there are factors to consider. Occupation demand. Carefully research the demand for your occupation in your desired region. High demand occupations have a greater chance of receiving a visa invitation. Skill assessment. You'll likely need a skills assessment from an accredited assessing authority to prove you meet the required qualifications and experience. Employer sponsorship. Securing sponsorship from a reputable employer is crucial. Research companies in your field and highlight your value proposition. Here are some tips to increase your success. Target occupations on both the STSOL and the MLTSSL. While the STSOL offers a PR pathway, the MLTSSL indicates occupations with a longer-term skills shortage. Targeting occupations on both lists strengthens your application. Focus on regional areas. Regional Australia often experiences a more significant skills shortage. Consider targeting occupations in regional areas, which might lead to faster processing and improved PR prospects through state or territory nomination programs. Stay updated. The SOL, including the STSOL, is regularly reviewed and updated. Keep yourself informed about changes through official government websites like the Department of Home Affairs. The Australian STSOL plays a significant role in the PR journey for skilled professionals. By understanding its intricacies, the associated visa pathways, and the recent positive changes, you can strategically leverage the STSOL to make your Australian PR dream a reality. Remember, thorough research, planning, and proactive efforts are key to navigating this process effectively. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so yet.